What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today the next step in the Sleeper Simulant questline became available. So today, October 8th, upon the reset, we had access to the next step in the quest chain. If you head to the tower and visit the gunsmith, he will give you the next part of the quest called the Sleeper Stirs. Do note that if you haven't completed yesterday's portion of the Sleeper Simulant questline involving the first firewall mission and repairing the Echolos Fusion Core, you will have to complete that part first in order to gain access to today's step. I did make a guide on yesterday's part of the quest chain, so if you did miss out on that part, you can check out the guide to it in the description below. Going into today's part, according to the description of the quest, it says to investigate Vault Ras 2 and the source of the strange signal in the Cosmodrome. So in order to complete this step, you have to play a special version of the Fallen Saber Strike located on Earth in your directory. This version of the strike is recommended at 280 light and has the epic modifier on it so it's a little bit tougher than normal. However, there is matchmaking for it. Once you defeated the Fallen Saber boss at the end, you will receive a Sleeper Simulant weapon frame upon completion of the strike. Once you acquire the Sleeper Simulant weapon frame, head back to the tower and speak to the gunsmith to finally get your new Sleeper Simulant exotic fusion rifle. So the Sleeper Simulant comes in at 290 attack power, however we can always infuse it. Taking a look at the perks for the Sleeper Simulant, it has CQB Ballistics and Smooth Ballistics for the scopes. We have Hip Fire, this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. For the mineral column, we have speed reload, custom optics, and injection mold. And for the last perk, we have activate echolos, which says upgrades laser to allow multiple ricochets on hard surfaces. And the special perk on this gun called sleeper simulant says weapons laser tears through enemies and ricochets once on hard surfaces. So it's pretty cool, and I went ahead and tested it out on some Court of Oryx. Going into my initial testing with the weapon, the first thing I noticed is that it could only hold 7 shots in the magazine. However, it was a very hard hitting gun. As you can see on the screen, I'm getting over 100 something thousand critical hits on high tier enemies. So I didn't get to fully test the gun because I went straight to Court of Oryx and instead if I went to a smaller area or a less open space, I probably could have experienced the ricochet perk in action more as well. So I'm assuming in a boss fight like the Fallen Saber Strike, since it's a contained room, it might work better since it could ricochet off the walls and multiple surfaces. So it probably can deal even more damage if you utilize that ricochet perk. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your new sleeper simulant. Good luck on your quest. And thank you guys for watching as always. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.